Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori Sterling and today I'm going to be doing my makeup and hair routine for when I'm going to go sweat, teach a spin class, work out, whatever. Um, I don't always wear makeup when I work out. I pretty much only wear makeup when I go to teach spin. Um, and it's just because I just like to feel put together when I go teach a class. Um, but yeah, this is the makeup that I wear. It's my go-to. I find it pretty sweat proof. I mean, it's not perfect at the end of class by any means. And my hair is always just messed up after class because I sweat so much. But everything pretty much stays on. I'd normally just have like a couple smudges here and there. Uh, but nothing that I can't fix real quick. I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing makeup to the gym ever. So if you want to wear a full face, go for it. If you don't want to wear any makeup, go for it. Clearly, I look like a mess. I woke up like an hour and a half ago um, and I've just been making my playlist and doing some work things. So now we'll get started. If you guys don't know, hello, my name is Tori Sterling. Um, I own a spin and fitness studio in the suburbs of Philly. It's called Stride and I'm an instructor there as well. I teach spin. I love it and this is pretty much my life. So I'm going to show you guys the makeup. I already washed my face. I have self tanner on um, and I moisturized already. So let's just get started because I'm kind of in a time crunch like I am every single time I have spin because I wait to the last possible minute. The first thing that I use is the Urban Decay One and Done. I have used this for so long. I love it. I recommend it to everyone. I think it's the best product for sweating. Another product that I really, really like is the Clinique Sweat Line. Yeah, they have really good stuff too. Theirs is just very like watery and really, really thin, which is super nice for the summertime and stuff. Um, and I'll use that for like a regular foundation. And I'll also use this for a regular foundation on like a daily basis. Um, but I just put on a little bit to even my self tanner out and my skin tone out. Sometimes I'll skip this step and just go right into concealer, but I just thought I'd show you guys the full shebang today. Normally just like a game time decision if I'm gonna wear this or not, but I would have today anyway. So it's not just for the video. Oh, this brush, uh, it's a Smashbox brush. I don't know, it's just like a big foundation brush. Remember how I used to be so good at makeup tutorials? Also, I just got my eyebrows microbladed. So if they look super, super dark, that's why. Um, I didn't fill them in. They're just, they're fading out still. All right, then I go in with concealer. This is the MAC Studio Fix 24-hour uh, concealer in the shade NC35. I don't even know if this is like my best shade. It just kind of like matches me pretty well because I'm not looking to like highlight or anything like that. They sent me this along with like every other shade. So like some days I'll use one shade. And like some days I'll use a completely other shade. It really just depends what's in front of me, honestly, and what my skin tone is based on my self tanner. So then I just take, what is this? This is another Smashbox brush. It's just like a little concealer brush. You can use a beauty blender, but I'm just too lazy to get up and make mine wet. And I hate the thought of a dry beauty blender. These brushes, I also switch back and forth to like blend them together. This all these Smashbox brushes were also sent to me. I feel like I have to say that now. And I feel like I didn't used to have to, but I feel like now people get kind of like upset. Normally after spin, I take my makeup off. Once it's all blended in, I take a translucent powder and uh, this is a wrong brush. Uh, this is a, I think it's like Sigma. Sigma F35 brush. And um, MAC pressed powder. It's a translucent powder. I don't know, this was, also sent to me so oh my god i haven't got a mac package in a while they must have taken me off their pr list because they realized that i stopped posting so i only set where i put my concealer so like my smile lines around my mouth um eyes and nose and then like a little bit in the forehead everywhere else i don't really care if it melts off then i take a bronzer this is Too faced chocolate soleil and this is a bh cosmetics blush brush I just use whatever bronzer is like near me. Um, I also like to use Hoola. Uh, I also like NARS Laguna. Just whatever is in reach at the moment. And this was in reach. So I just kind of put this like forehead, cheeks, because I kind of double it as like blush. And then jawline normally just to blend my self tanner. And I can do a whole video about tanning. Oh, and I also do this on my nose. I can do a whole video about like tanning 
and working out because I get those questions all the time. Then I have to take a Morphe M532 brush and the bronzer and I just throw that in my eye. Yeah, but I can totally do a tanning video because I get a lot of questions like, how do you stay tan even though you like sweat and shower so much, da da da. So I'll, um, I'll do that. Okay, then I take a Morphe M510 brush and Mac Soft and Gentle. OG. And I just highlight with it above the eyebrows, on my nose, and on the lip. Okay, then I go in with, this is a newer thing that I just started kind of doing. Then I go in with this big brush. Uh, it's by Smashbox. I don't know what it is, but it's just a big brush. I guess it's like a powder brush. And then I take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Stereo Rose. Also OG. And I just like throw it on my cheeks. And like, I use it, Jazz, my co-owner, always puts on blush before she teaches. I'm like, why? You're going to get red anyway. But now I do it. So, whatever. I used to have lash, lash extensions, which made my life so much easier. But I got so tired of like going to get the refills. So I literally just ripped them off one day, the other day. So I like ripped out all my real eyelashes with them. So I'm using babe lash until they grow back. So until they grow back, I've been back to my roots of stripping. I strip lash again. Feels good to strip lash. The best glue for sweating is the Duo Brush On Adhesive, the green one. Um, I also like using the dark tone when I go out, but the green one is the best for sweating because it doesn't go anywhere. It's literally like super glue. Like, I don't know, it's legit Gorilla Glue. I use the Ardell Wispies. They're just my favorite lash. They're really good. And these are reusable lashes. I wore them last night when I taught spin. So they get kind of gross. After like three sweats of fake lashes, I kind of throw them out because they get gross. But if I'm not sweating on my lashes, I can definitely get a week's out of them. I know you probably think it's weird to wear fake lashes when I sweat. My lashes are really pathetic right now, so I kind of want them. Then while that gets tacky, I curl my little lashes and I'll show you just how little and pathetic they are because of my own doings. Then I'm gonna take Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I have the waterproof one right here, but I always use the not waterproof one. Um, and then I'm just gonna throw this on my lashes. While, like as soon as I'm done my mascara and while I'm still waiting for the glue to get tacky, I turn on my straightener so that it's hot and ready for me. Look how sad my lashes are. But it's okay because Babe Lash works really, really well and they'll be good in a little bit. While I wait for that to get tacky, I'm going to take my hair down. Typically, I do the same three hairstyles when I teach spin and it just depends on the level of dirtiness of my hair, honestly. So the three hairstyles that I do are a ponytail with a headband, a ponytail with the braid in the middle, or just two Dutch braids. I think I'm just going to do a headband and I'll show you guys how I do that. But I do the braids like the braided down the middle or the dutch braids if i'm absolutely for sure gonna shower afterwards because those just like once you do that there's no coming back to like save your hair and i'll do a whole video um about like how i do my hair after spin and stuff like that to like kind of save it my hair is really dirty and i'm definitely gonna wash it today but i kind of just don't have time for a braid so i'll just do my headband and then i'll show the braid in another video but my lashes are ready so i'm just gonna grab my tweezers and plop them on I always straighten my hair because I like the look of a long straight pony. If for whatever reason my hair is like really, really messed up from like the night before of sweating, I'll go in with like my blow dryer and I'll just kind of like blow dry it straight. This is nothing that a straightener can't handle. So um, I just take my straightener and I just definitely hit around my face because that always is seen. And then I just sort of do this. The rest of my hair so like I just make sure that the ends are nice and straight I don't wear extensions anymore my hair grew one of my employees at stride started like an essential oils line and we're all obsessed with their stuff so I just take mermaid hair I'll leave the link in the description box if you guys want to buy it on her Instagram she'll like maybe she'll ship it to you I have a feeling that she will if you buy it anyway um, so this is just mermaid hair. It's just like essential oils pretty much. And it just makes your hair smooth and it kind of makes it come back to life. 
And if I want like dry shampoo, I'll throw it in, but I don't need it today because I'm wearing it up. Okay, so then I take a headband. I always wear the exact same headband because these don't move on my head. Uh, we sell these at Stride. You can't get them anywhere, but uh, if you ever are in Stride, we sell them there. So you can't get them because like we have a local girl make them for us. So anyway, um, I put the headband in with my hair down because I have so many baby hairs and I want to make sure that I get them all. So I just go like that. So I do that. Then I just pull it back. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be a ponytail. And I always double it up. Otherwise my hair falls. And yeah, these crease my hair, but I don't care. So after I'm done spin, I rip the ponytail out. Like I just take it out and I take the headband out and I just let my hair be a mess and I let it like crease and do its thing. Um, then I just go in and if I need to, I'll like curl my lashes to kind of bend them together. But because I wore these lashes for two days in a row now, they kind of just molded to my eye. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of mascara. Right there. Lastly, Morphe setting spray to set it. So yeah, that's uh, the hair and makeup that I do when I go teach spin, when I go to the gym, when I sweat. Um, it's light, it looks natural, and it just looks put together and it stays on. So. If you guys have a makeup routine that you guys love, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Tori Sterling. Follow Stride on Instagram at Stride's Fitness. And I'll see all of you guys in my next video. Bye.